There's no doubt that this investment by Consul and its shareholders represents a tangible expression of our confidence in the future in South Africa over the long term. Having said that, over the last year we have seen muted growth in our sector and today annual growth is projected at best to be flat or perhaps up a few percent. SA incorporated loss and competitiveness on a benchmark x factor gate basis over the past five years due largely to structural imbalances between our inflation rate differentials caused in part by electric power, wage rates and administrative cost increases and the comparative exchange rate values as compared to our major trading partners has played a major factor in decreasing our exports of goods overseas and indeed increased imports into the country. And this has had a negative impact on downstream industries such as glass packaging. This will mean that the glass packaging industry in the short term will operate below capacity at around 85% and will need to rationalise production and reduce in inventories over the next year. Planning and installing new capacity in the capital intensive glass industry by its very nature is complex and takes a minimum of three years from approval to delivery of good glass with the production line. And indeed, if we are only focusing on the short term value creation in our business, the Nigel investment would not have taken place. And so our investment horizon timeline starts with 10 years and extends well beyond that to 30, 40 and even 50 years. The manufacturing sector in South Africa remains a critical player in the economy.